all season long, and especially during the final month of unrelenting high-tension baseball. The Baltimore Orioles showed that they are one of baseball's most on teams. They demonstrated that quality again Thursday night, and early Friday morning, as Game 4 stretched deep into extra innings, where one mistake, one fluke, could end the season. But the steady and young Orioles, who endured the staggering 1-2 combo of Rahul Ibanez's magical home runs in Game 3, rose up from the mat and beat the Yankees, 2-1 in 13 innings at Yankee Stadium and thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. So for the final time this season, after a September battle in which the Orioles drew even with the Yankees in the standings on 10 different days, the teams are tied again. Their five-week marathon will be decided on Friday. Baltimore's victory forced a decisive Game 5 at Yankee Stadium where C.C. Sabathia will likely oppose Jason Hamill in a rematch of the Game 1 starters. While the Yankees could only manage one run over 13 innings, the Orioles scored the winning run in the 13th on J.J. Hardy's run scoring double off. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. The rookie David Phelps, who was making his postseason debut, Phelps replaced Joba Chamberlain who was injured in the 12th when he was struck in the pitching elbow by Matt Wieters's broken bat. Phelps got out of that inning, but Manny Machado greeted him in the 13th with a leadoff double and went to third on a ground out by Nate McLeod, then scored on Hardy's double. In the bottom of the 13th, Jim Johnson, the Orioles closer who gave up I bad as game tying homer in game four, ended the game by getting Eric Chavez. Pinch thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Hitting for Alex Rodriguez, two line out to third. The Yankees wasted several chances to break through after tying the score, 1-1, one one, in the sixth, but stranded runners in the seventh, eighth and the tenth. By Badness made his much-anticipated pinch hit appearance, batting for Jason Nix with two outs in the ninth. But there would be no heroics as he grounded out to the first baseman Mark Retnotes. The better chance was wasted in the eighth. Ichiro Suzuki led off with a single up the middle off Luis Ayala, which was thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Followed by another from Mark Tipsero, who shattered his bat. The Orioles brought in the lefty Ryan Mataz to face Robinson Cano, who moved the runners over with a ground ball to second. Up next was Rodriguez, whom I badness replaced in game three and hit the game dying home run in the ninth. Orioles manager Buck Showalter called for the right-handed reliever Darren O'Day. Yankees manager Joe Girardi let Rodriguez hit. With the infield in and the crowd standing in anticipation, Rodriguez struck out on four pitches, hearing a torrent of boos as he walked. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Back to the dugout. Nick Swisher, who had only one hit in his last 33 postseason at-bats then hit a lazy fly ball to right to end the threat. Derek Jeter, who was removed from Game 3 due to a foot injury, was in the lineup as the designated hitter, and showed no adverse effects as he motored around the bases with a tying run in the sixth. With the Yankees trailing 1-0, Jeter drove the ball into the right field corner for a double. Suzuki sacrificed him to third base and then tight Sarah walked. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. That set the stage for Kano, who hit a bouncer to the right side that was too slow to convert into a double play, and Jeter trotted home on the fielder's choice as tight Sarah went to second. With Rodriguez due up next, Show Alter replaced the starter Joe Saunders with the right-handed Tommy Hunter. Rodriguez was cheered in his first at-bat, and then again in the fourth when he singled but the booze returned in the sixth when Hunter struck him out to end the inning. Rodriguez flipped his bat and trudged back to the dugout. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. There were other squandered opportunities, too. With the Yankees trailing 1-0 in the fifth Russell Martin threw a leadoff walk against Saunders, who struck out the slumping Curtis Granderson. It was Granderson's second strikeout of the game and his eighth in 13 at-bats in the series. That brought Nix, who was playing shortstop for Jeter, to the plate. Nix tagged the ball deep to left field where McLeod chased it down with a leaping catch at the wall as Martin rounded second base. Nate McLeod threw back to the infield where Martin was forced at first thank you for trying verbose. 
This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Base for the inning ending double plate. Phil Hughes started and did his job well, allowing only one run and four hits in six and two-thirds innings. His lone costly mistake a solo home run by McLeod in the third. He had runners at first and second with nobody out in the first inning and got out of it with three straight fly balls. In the third the Orioles opened the inning with a walk by number 9 hitter Machado and a double by McLeod to put runners at second and third. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. With nobody out. But Hughes riddled out of it. Hardy hit the bouncer back to the mound and Hughes threw home to Martin, who put down the tag on the sliding Machado for the first out. Hughes then struck out Chris Davis and got Adam Jones to bounce out to Cano at second base and went on to pitch well enough to quiet the doubters who wondered whether he would pitch well in the playoffs.